Shalom, Mom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shabbat Hashem, Harakakwadash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, the men, the prophets who are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. To you, I say shalom. All right, this is a clear example of why knowing is not enough. All right, and this, I'm speaking of DMX because he knew that he was an Israelite. All right, and in this video right here, um, HOI in Atlanta, you know, he came out and, you know, you know, the video, he said, you know, he got edified or whatever, but he knew he was an Israelite. All right. So once you know you're an Israelite, you know, you got to do something with it. You just can't sit back and think, you know, you good, you, you're an Israelite now and, you know, you're going to, you know, you always doing to wait for the kingdom. No, you got to, you know, you got to make something, you got to, you have to show action to the most high. You got to repent. All right, you got to call on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. You got to, you know, begin to follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. You got to turn your life around, okay, for righteous sake. All right, and did DMX do that? Hey, I don't know. I don't know if Esau had his day hand in, you know, his demise or whatever's going on with him with the heart attack or whatever. Or, you know, he OD'd, he really OD'd and, you know, it, it's jacked up. But at the end of the day, you know, hey, he knew that he was an Israelite and, it clearly wasn't, he, he he wasn't doing enough for the most high to, you know, to almost take him out of here. And he's, and it says he's not doing, he's not in, um, he's not doing that well. So who knows what's going to happen with him? Maybe he makes a recovery and maybe the most high takes him out. But this is a clear example of why knowing that your Israelite is not enough. You got to do, all right? The most high is looking for action. All right, if you're a man, if you're a man, Israelite man, all right, hey, you better get into this scripture. You better repent. And, and, and begin to teach, because that's the whole duty of man to be. We're supposed to, if you're an Israelite, you know, of course, all men are not going to be, all Israelite men that receive salvation are not going to be prophets. But hey, if you could understand a little bit, okay, hey, pray to the Most High that he gives you the increase, and you're supposed to go out there and teach, okay? But hey, knowing is not enough. You just can't be, oh, I'm an Israelite, and, you know, I'm going to just sit back and chill and, you know, and wait for the kingdom, wait for the chariots, man, you're going to get, hey, if you got that type of mindset, the most, your how about Shemel is going to destroy you, knowing that you're an Israelite, all right, this is the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus 5, and we'll go straight to the point, verse 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, all right, don't put this off day to day, You, because think about it is, Jake think that well, they got time, you got time. All right, we don't got time. All right, if you know you're Israelite, hey, you, hey, we're in the year of hasting of the coming of Yahabash and Yahweh So we're hastening the day. That means it, it's not no time left. Okay, Esau's coming down with great wrath. The Most High is 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 sending these plagues. All right, left and right. All right, so you don't have time. All right, you don't have time to to bullshit around and 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 think that you know everything's gonna be all right. You know you got another year or another two years, another three years, and then you are gonna come into the truth, and then you are gonna study hard. Hey, it don't work out like that, okay? You got to go through the straight gate, all right? If you want to get to the kingdom of heaven, you, and that's a degree of difficulty, okay? Hey, you can't put it off from day to day. This got to be, this, you have to be a new creature in your how about you know, shower. You have to put off the old man, all right? And you just can't put off the old man, you know, oh, I'm going to start uh, 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 on the new year. No, it don't work like that, all right? When you know there is real life, hey, that's when, that's when you got to drop everything, all right, when the Most High opens your eyes, that's when you got to drop everything and and and, and, and you follow the truth. No, this is the truth. All right, let me read that verse again. Start at the top. Uh, verse 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right, hey, and some may make it to that day of vengeance to get destroyed when the chariots and World War III is kicking off and the destruction of America, hey, some may get judged sooner. All right, look at DMX. Okay, he's laying up in the hospital, still on life support, supposedly. Let me see. Uh, still on life support. Yeah, he's still on life support. You know, he's damn near, he's brain dead. Okay, because he, hey, he should have repented when he had a chance. He didn't, shouldn't have put it off. He shouldn't have said, well, you know, when I go back to New York, I'm going to, you know, really start to study hell. That day with Atlanta, he should have he should have canceled all his plans and, and repented and got into these scriptures, start watching videos, okay? Because, you know, th these guys out there, these guys out here, 
uh, HOI, they should have gave Jay should they were somewhat starstruck. They should have gave DMX a skinny. Like, hey, look, you're an Israelite. Okay, you're from more likely from a tribe of Judah, Benjamin, or or Levi. All right, repent. All right, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If you don't repent, the Most High is going to destroy you. You're going to get judged. That's what their message should have been to DMX, not being all starstruck. And, and, and man, hey, you got to, hey, DMX or any random Jake out there, forget all this, you know, hey, you got to tell them the scriptures. You got to give them the, give them to them straight, no chaser at the end of the day, or what it is or what it is with the Most High, how the Most High is dealing in these last days, okay? Because, hey, hey the scriptures say, ain't no respect the person with the Most High. All right, you think the Most High cares that, you know, he sold this many records or this athlete, um, you know, uh, uh, won this many championships. All right. This is uh, Romans 2 and uh, 11. For there is no respect of persons with the most high. That's clear. All right. The most ain't no respect with the person with the person with the most high. Most high made made you. All right. Made DMX, made all these athletes and entertainers. All right. They, 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 they're just small vessels. OK. And, and they could they more than likely the majority of them are vessels fit for uh, dishonor. Because, you know, they know that they're Israelites and they won't repent. All right. So they're going to they were basically born in vain. All right. So they're going to, you know, go down with they're more than likely going to go down with America. OK, um, let me jump back to uh, the Apocrypha. I want to grab this in the book of Baruch. Um, this is the book of Baruch, chapter uh, four. In verse uh, twenty eight. See, for it, for it, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek Him ten times more. All right, it, it was all our, it was all we all went astray. We all fell short of the glory at some point. Okay, but hey, once you find out you're an Israelite, hey, you got to seek Him. It says, seek Him. See, being returned, that's when you, you come to the realization that you're Israelite. Seek Him ten times more. All right, so you you got to be you know, uh, 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 seeking the Heavenly Father as much as you can, okay? And, and not just sitting back and, and waiting, you know, to watch a video. Man, hey, go out there. If you're new to the faith, go out there to the camp, wherever you're at, and, and, and listen, and, and listen, and, and ask questions, okay? Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and the most high not, man, the most high not playing around no more, all right? A hey, judgment is going out, okay? And, and this is what, what are we in, April? And it's been somewhat kind of quiet, but the most I about to heat things up, okay? You know, last year, uh, um, when when C-19, you know, really, really popped off, it was kind of right around this time where they really start shutting things down, all right? And, and you know, through the spirit, man, the most I could have something in store for uh, uh, for this year, all right? The, hey, the most I is always, uh, uh, um, you know, revealing things to his prophets, bringing out prophecy, and, and these days it's going to come out faster. This is this is the book of Peter, First Peter, uh, one and excuse me, First Peter four and seventeen. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it begin at us, what shall the end be of them, of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Okay, a if and, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the godly, uh, excuse me, ungodly, and the sinner appear? All right, so judgment is beginning at the house of the Lord. All right, and that is you Israelites, okay? And you know, I'm kind of you know this happened with with Saturday. I'm kind of late to uh you know you know bringing this out, but hey, you know it's it's, it's never too late to, you know to bring out the word of Yahweh Shemal Shai and bring forth edification. So you so you Jakes will fear the Most High. All right, hey, DMX heard the word, he heard the truth, but he still didn't fear. Okay, that, that that's the thing about it. All right, um, what is that? Uh. Philippians 2. Wherefore, my 2 and 12, wherefore, my beloved, as ye were always, always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right, you got to fear the Heavenly Father. Okay? That, that's when the Heavenly Father will open up your eyes. That's when the Heavenly Father will begin to sup with you. Okay? If you, you got to fear him first. All right? And, 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 and fear is a good thing when it comes to. The, the, to the Lord, all right, we're not supposed to fear man and what they can do with us, not, the, not supposed to fear this boy Esau, we're supposed to fear the creator, the most high, all right, the one that can give and take away life, all right, this is the book of, of Proverbs 1 and um, 
7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right? Hey, fear the Lord. All right? It, it, that, that's the beginning of knowledge. That's when, you know, you really begin to be really smart. Okay? Because all these niggas in the world, they got all these degrees, you know, um, all these accolades and, and, and money. They're not really, if they're not, they don't fear the Lord. All right? If they're not uh, call on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, if they don't have this doctrine, all right, they're really not smart. They're really not, they're really not wise. All right, they're wise in wickedness. They're wise in the knowledge in, of this world, but they're not, they don't have the true knowledge. All right, the true knowledge lies in the scriptures. The true knowledge comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through his spirit. I'll read this again. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay, hey, the DMX, hey, you know, I didn't ever, I never really watched the full of this video, but, um, you know, that, hey, they didn't, they didn't, they should have re not rebuked him, but they should have, you know, they should have told him the real deal, man. That, that, you know, hey, that, that, that sh shit's about to hit the fan here in America. Unless he repent, he, he's going to, he's not going to be saved. He's not going to make it. He's not, he's not going to, uh, uh, farewell. I mean, uh, um, not farewell. Uh, what's the word? Um. He's not gonna. Uh, um, he's not gonna make it here in America, pretty much. All right, and you know, hey, the Most High could take him out, or shit, the Most High could preserve DMX to uh, so we can repent, or, or hey, the Most High could reserve him to catch a missile. Okay, but hey, I'm pretty sure, hey, sitting up in that hospital bed, all kind of thoughts are coming by his through his head, and I'm pretty sure that that his journey to in Atlanta. To walked up on this on this camp right here is crossed his mind several times. Okay, so hey, you don't want to be like you want to be like Jake right here, man. That that passed by the camp, knew he was an Israelite, and you know just sat on the uh just just uh you know just chilled and and, and and didn't do nothing with it. All right, that goes into the, the parable of the talents. All right, hey, he a hey, DMX hid his talent. All right, and, and the Most High, hey, got it back. And on the way out, hey, the Most High here, take this with you. Gave his ass a heart attack, all right? But I'm pretty sure, hey, DMX is dealing with demons, and, you know, and, and, hey, he had opportunity to get them demons off of him, all right? Hey, calling that, calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will definitely take the demons off of you. But, hey, them demons hopped on him, and, hey, they, 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 you know, they, they, they got a chokehold on his ass right now. So, you know, hey, the, de the most high, you know, <laughs> get those demons up off of him, hey, the Lord will. But if they don't, hey, that was his judgment. All right, so you know, I just want to make this. I don't want to make this too too long. So I just want to hit these points. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Harukapadash. That will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.